People and food are the two most important parts of our business. Whether your team is involved in preparing food behind the scenes or serving it to our customers, I'd love all of you to be as inspired and passionate about food as I am. My love of great food is based on the knowledge and skills that I've built up as a working chef. To support you in your journey, we've put together some short training films which cover a variety of core skills. Our hot counters are our shop window. This short film will show you how Dan builds his hot food for service. He has some great tips on how to bring those counters alive with colour, abundance and variety. He will also touch on best practice in setting up deli and salad counters. Before we talk you through the practical steps of how to display your hot counters, let's take a moment to think about the overall look and feel of what we are trying to achieve. At Gather and Gather, you'll often hear people talking about street food and how we can recreate the same success that restaurants and cafes have with street food and farmers market styling. There are lots of good examples on the web that illustrate how the way food is displayed can transform something that looks okay into something that looks mouth-watering and amazing. Street food is an inspiration to our business and everything we do needs to recreate the same excitement, flexibility and freshness that people expect and enjoy. So let's take a look at some simple ways we can achieve this using our counter space. The areas we're going to look at today are street food, traditional, healthy option, deli bars and salad bars. The size and layout of the hot counters in different gather and gather sites vary, but we're going to look at some basic principles that you can use whatever you lay out. Two things that apply across all counters are using height, so piling things up, and using colour. Get these two right and you're well on your way to making your display look inviting for your customers. Everything we're going to use today comes from the very same central resource that you have access to. And remember, if you need any ideas about your counter display, the brand guidelines are a great starting point is they're full of excellent examples you can follow. Right, let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to set up a street food counter. I've got some lovely tandoori chicken today. My beautiful assistant Phil is going to help me set this up. So we've got these lovely tandoori chicken that have been marinated overnight. We've used a big pan to put them on and we've piled them up high and now we've garnished them with some chopped coriander, some burnt limes and some burnt chilies. All marries well with the dish. It's not just there to look good, it does actually make the food taste better and it themes well with it. Next, we've got these lovely naan breads which we're gonna to use to wrap these later. Some wraps and again, we've put these on a wooden board and we've piled these up nice and high and we've got some onion barges and samosas. There are upsells, so we've put them there where they're visual and the idea is that when a customer comes over them, they think, oh, that looks good, you get them to spend a little bit more money. We've got some dal, which is our vegetarian option. We put some chopped coriander on there. And now what we've done, we've got something at the front a little bit higher, something at the back and something in a different color and a different shape. We've got our riata and our mango chutney. That's all in smaller bowls. So again, we've already we've got big silver pan, a black pot, a wooden board, some heights, some little black bowls. And now we've got our poppadoms in the gather and gather wooden boxes. We just line them up, food market style. Now we're going to put our salads on the side so they obviously stay cold away from the hot counter. But again, we're going for levels. These boxes are brilliant to get some different heights. And we've got these lovely wooden bowls which Claire loves. And we've got our other salad. So all the colours of the salad are going to finish this off and obviously we've got our signature Bombay slaw which is a gather and gather signature salad. So when you look at everything, you've got different colours, different heights, all put together to make a wonderful counter. Let's plate one of these bad boys up. So obviously it does look great but we've got to make sure it's practical and it works well for us serving it. So this is a good chance to talk to your customers and ask them how they're doing, if they're having a good day or not. And remember, if your counter's a little bit smaller than this, that's not a problem. Just use everything like what we've used, but smaller versions of it. You, know, you can just do a mini version of what we've done, but just remember the heights, the colours, the garnishes. So I'm just going to put a bit of yoghurt onto this. And some of that lovely Gather and Gather Bombay slaw. Maybe just a little bit more yoghurt. 
And there we go. We've got a lovely dish there, presented nicely on the plate as well as on the counter. Now we're going to do our traditional counter. Today we've got fish and chips. Just like the street food needs to look authentic, the traditional fish and chips to me has to look like an old fish and chip shop. So we're going to start with our fish. We've got this lovely black tray, it's like an old black tray with a grill on top. We've piled our fish up high, we've got breaded and battered so that the oil can drip off and keep your fish nice and crunchy. We put some gather and gather paper under there, a bit like the newspaper that you get in the fish and chip shops. Then we've got our chips. We put these in a round bowl, so it's a different shape to what we've got our fish on. We've got our steamed peas or mushy peas in a nice uh, pot. Then we've got these, which I really love. It's our calamari, but these bowls are lovely. You can put your scampi in there as well. And now we're going to put our condiments and upsells at the front of the counter. So we've got some lovely gherkins, some lovely fresh lemons, tartar sauce, and some pickled onions. So there we go, we've got our beautiful fish and chip shop on a counter. And don't forget to ask the customers if they want it open or wrapped. Okay, I'm going to plate one of these up. I'm going to take my battered fish. Remember, use this as a chance to talk to your customers and see how they're doing. Got my chips on there. And our peas. Don't forget to offer them some condiments and why not try upselling some goujons or scampi, whatever it is you have. And there you go, lovely fish and chips. I'm going to show you how I set up my healthy counter now. Most of you be used to Kate's under 500 calorie meal. If you haven't been trained on this, please make sure you get Kate to train you before you go ahead and do it. So my healthy concept, it starts with three proteins. You get a meat, a fish, and a vegetarian. Today we're going for like a Lebanese flavor. So we've got some harissa spice chicken. We've got some harissa spice salmon. And we've also got some aubergine stuff with cottage cheese that's been harissa spiced as well. I've garnished these with some caramelized lemons and some chopped herbs, both the same for the salmon and the chicken. And for the aubergine, I've just put a bit of caramelized tomato on there. Vegetarian with it, we've got some French beans with some tomatoes. I've grilled those tomatoes to get a different depth of flavor and to give it a little different bit of look. Our carbohydrate, we've got some cumin spiced chickpeas and we've got a lovely tabbouleh salad. So again, setting up the counter, I've used these lovely enamel square um, trays. I've used this lovely round bowl and put it under a block to give some height. And if you look at the counter as a whole, you've got lots of different colors and textures. It's going to make it really appealing for your customer. I'm going to show you how I plate this up. With this concept, you get one protein with two sides of your choice. So I'm going to take the salmon and I'm going to put that with some of these lovely chickpeas. I've got these utensils where you can make sure that your portion control is good. Obviously, being a healthy option, we want to make sure we're given the right amount of portions. Then those lovely French beans. I'm going to put these into one of these bowls. If you wanted to, you could have a load of these bowls pre-portioned on your counter to speed things up. So this doesn't need to be all the way to the top, three quarters full. And then we're going to put that on there. And then we have a lovely portion controlled healthy salmon dish. I'm going to show you how to set up a deli bar now. The same principles apply as to the hot counter. We need abundance, so we're piling things up high. I've got a great variety of bread. I put them in these lovely gather and gather boxes. We need lots of colour and uh, variety, so what we've done here, we set up our counter really nicely, but we made sure operationally it works really well. So really important to make sure you have your meat and fish separate to your veggie options. We've got all our little items, like our olives and our sweet corn at the back to make sure they don't fall into anything else. And this is also a great opportunity to engage with your customers. There's nothing nicer than someone remembering your order, to saying good afternoon, do you want the usual, what you had yesterday. Get all these things nailed and you're on your way to having a brilliant deli bar. I'm going to show you how to set up a salad bar now. Two basic principles. 
you've got your simple salads at the front and you've got your composite salads at the back. Gather and Gather are really famous for our salads, so don't be scared to use some of our many recipes. I really like this lovely roasted butternut squash salad with some gem. Important thing, as before, we want abundance, colour and variety, different heights, lots of textures, lots of tones, plenty of herbs, keep it vibrant, keep it fresh. If you follow these principles, you'll have a lovely salad bar. Today we covered some simple techniques to make hot and cold food counters look amazing. Displaying your food like this, using height and colour, along with gathering gather branding elements, will make a big difference. And remember, we all buy of our eyes. But it doesn't end with the food. Don't forget to bring a bit of your own personality to the chalkboards and have a bit of fun. Thanks for watching.